Here's an infinite sequence of real numbers. The question is, can you find such a sequence so that this equals n for every positive integer n? A tricky question, and to be honest with you, I have no idea how you would go about trying to find such a sequence. This is a Putnam problem, so maybe you're expecting some slick solution, but the way the question is worded, is there such a sequence, might make you think that the answer is no. If we find one example where this supposed fact doesn't work, well then we disprove it. To do that, and for seemingly no apparent reason, let's look at the cauchy schwartz inequality. Since we're talking about sequences of real numbers, we'll just use the Euclidean dot product as our inner product and have this representation for our inequality. How exactly is this helping us because this is talking about two different sequences, u sub n and v sub n? Well, let's just look at two versions of the sequence we're asked about by picking different values for m. What if we look at m equals 1 and m equals 2? Let's just throw these two sequences into our inequality. We'd have a sub n to the first times a sub n squared. Properties of exponents, that would be a sub n to the third. And according to our inequality, this should be less than the sum of a sub n to the first squared times the sum of a sub n squared squared. If this proposed infinite sequence did exist, we know how to sum these quantities. The sum of a sub n cubed, well, that would be 3 squared is 9. That has to be less than or equal to, according to our inequality, the sum of a sub n squared, which is 2, times the sum of a sub n to the fourth, which is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. And so 9 is less than or equal to 8? I don't think so. That's a contradiction, meaning the original proposed infinite sequence cannot exist. If you like seeing solutions to these interesting Putnam problems, click the video on the screen. I'll see you in that one.